Peace is Mr. Moore from Child from North Sports Podcast back with another video. Um, I wasn't even going to do a video today. I didn't even do my NFL picks for the day. Um, I'm still hurting from last night. I'm not going to lie. Um, my Alabama Crimson Tide went down 34-24. Uh, um, first, I want to say a great game by Texas. Salute to Texas. They uh, came in and played. I, didn't, I wasn't a believer in Texas, even though I believe in Steve Sarkeesian. Um, I didn't realize how much talent they had. Um, the offensive line is good. The defensive line is deep. Um, they play physical. Um, they do have more skill position weapons outside of um, Xavier Worthy. <clears throat> A.D. Mitchell is still home in Alabama, even in a Texas uniform. Uh, Quinn Ewers played great. You know, we didn't make it um, hard for him last night, and that's usually what happens when um, the defense doesn't make it hard for a quarterback. He's just gonna pick you apart, and that's exactly what he did. Uh, I'm gonna start with the um, I'm gonna start with the obvious offense. Um, I know everyone's killing Jalen Milrow, and rightfully so. Um, I didn't think Tommy Reese's game plan was um, was good at all. I think they went away from the run way too early. Too many um, first down passes, second down passes, where you're not even gaining yards. If you're um, not completing passes, not gaining yards, throwing the football. On first and second and ten, you're going to be in third and long, and that's even more of a disaster. And I just think it was it was too much of that. <clears throat> in particular, this one instance, um, I think it was in the fourth quarter when we're down 20 to 16. Texas just scored. We just got the ball back. First down, first and ten. You know, play action pass. Jalen rolls out, and he uh, stares down Jalen. Um, and he stares down J uh, Jermaine Burton, and he throws a pick. There was no need to throw the football on first down right there. We just got the ball back. It's full of, I think it was like 14 minutes left in the fourth quarter. The game is still tight, still close. There is no need to throw the football on first down right there. And we did a lot of that. I think he got caught up in trying to um, match um, Steve Sharkeesian and um, big play um, deep ball um, calls. And, it, it, and he's not that guy. He's not that type of offensive coordinator. Um, there was no creativity from him whatsoever. Um, no bubble screens, no screens, no motions, misdirections, none of that. And, you know, you could say that's due to um, Jalen Milrose's inability to throw the football or read defenses, quote-unquote. And I give you that. Um, but if you're not at least trying these things, then, I mean, what are you doing? And, yeah, the offensive line was terrible last night. Um, J.C. Latham, I don't understand. I just say this. They had the biggest offensive line in all of college football and the NFL. Why? Um, you have a running quarterback. That's not – they look slow. Um, Caden Proctor is going to be a great left tackle one day in college football, a potential first-round pick. But I think um, J.C. Latham, who's a veteran, who's the leader of the offensive line, needs to be the left tackle, uh, flip them around. I was disappointed in Steph McLaughlin. With, uh, he's still snapping the ball in the dirt. He's a veteran. He had a couple uh, false start um, on his own. It's not good. Dow Court has not been good at all. Uh, Tyler Booker even wasn't that good. The offensive line played terrible. Like I said, they look slow. They look sluggish. Uh, I just think the whole team looks slow and sluggish. Like I said, some of you guys can say it's due to Milrow, and I'll give you that, but when you have a dual-threat quarterback or a quarterback with his uh, talent and athleticism, you can't have this slow, methodical uh, philosophy and play call on the offense. You need to speed the game up. You need to call plays that's catered to what he does best. You look around college football with guys who are do a threat, <clears throat> who are uh, supposedly uh, better runners than they are throwers and can't read defenses like that. Their offense is a high pay, uh, high pace. Um, they play fast and they play to the strength of their quarterback. And Tommy Reese didn't call that type of game. So I mean, if Tyler Booker, Buckner, or Ty Simpson is uh, could have done any better last night. I don't think so. Um, but we'll see moving forward. As far as the defense goes, um, Dallas Turner got his name called one time last night. He knows on fourth down. Uh, zero pass rush at all. Where was Chris Braswell? Where was Quindarius Robinson? I didn't hear Jaheim Otis' name called all night. Where was Justin Abogey? Well, he I heard his name one time, but uh, it was due to a face mask. No pass rush, no push up front. We got dominated on the line of scrimmage on both um, sides of the ball. Linebackers were um, they, um, didn't really hear much from the linebackers as well, neither. 
The biggest disappointment is the secondary. Uh, Terry Arnold still can't cover. He's still grabbing and holding wide receivers and throwing his hands up in the air like he don't know what happened. Um, Kool-Aid wasn't good either. Um, Caleb Downs is going to be special, but um, he got picked on last night. Um, Sark did a great job of targeting him in space. I don't think Caleb Downs is a free safety. I think he needs to be a strong safety playing around the um, the line of scrimmage in the box because uh, he's real physical. I think that's his, be his best um, attributes. Um, maybe try Jalen uh, Key at free safety or maybe Christian Story. But um, Caleb Downs had a rough game um, for a true freshman. And uh, like I said, I think he's going to be great. But last night um, showed his, um, his some of his flaws, especially in coverage. But uh, moving forward, I think we'll be just fine. I'm sure there will be a quarterback change. Now, I'm I like I said, I'm not a believer in Ty Buckner or Ty Simpson, to be honest. I don't care if they are better throwers than Jalen Milrow. Um, that hasn't won that us national championships um, in the past. But you know what? Like I said, I'm not giving up on this team. I'm still gonna pick us to win the SEC and win a national championship. Like I said, we've lost games before early in the season, and we've uh, bounced back very well. And I think that'll happen this year too. But I think it's time for Nick Saban to take the um, take the chains off Tommy Reese um, and let him be more creative, give him full control over this offense, and um, see what he's got. I mean, he's young. I mean, let's see what he's got. You know, let him let him have full control of the offense. And see if he can take us to the next level. If not, it's going to look like the same methodical offense that we had with Bill O'Brien the past couple years. And we had a quarterback scrambling around, trying to make plays and find open receivers and um, no running game whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got, man. I really, like I, said, I really didn't want to do this video at all. I hadn't done any other videos. Um, didn't do my NFL picks. Um, or anything, any other videos, any other college games. Like I said, I was hurt from last night. I'm not going to lie. But uh, like I said, I still have faith in this team. And I still have faith in Nick Saban. Like I said, they're right to ship. I mean, Alabama's only uh, went undefeated twice in the national championship they won. So, you know, losing a game is not uh, not uncommon. I think it's how we lost the game that um, they really still bothers me. But we got a chance to right that ship. We got South Florida next Saturday, which I'm pretty sure they'll blow them out regardless of quarterback. And they'll give us a chance to work on um, a few things as well, maybe um, make some personnel changes before we go into the uh, SEC schedule with um, Ole Miss in a couple weeks at home. So those are just my thoughts. Like I said, guys, continue to keep um, subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, supporting all the links that I um, leave in the description and the comment section. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.